For this example, we're going to look at another processor, this time the AMD A10 processor, and it's designed to use much less power than the Intel processor that we looked at in the previous example. And again, we're going to be looking at estimating the capacitive load of the processor. So this processor ex is expected to use about 19 watts of power. We'll be solving for the capacitive load in farads again. It takes 1.175 volts of electricity and by default runs at 3,350 megahertz. So again, we're not really going to be able to solve for our capacitive load just by hand. We'll want to use a calculator to do the computation but we can still stick these numbers into our equation and get a good idea of where we're going before we ask the calculator to solve the problem for us. So again, I'll solve for the capacitive load. And this time I've got a 10 to the minus 6th on the bottom, but it's really being multiplied by this very large number. So it would work really well, actually, to convert this to gigahertz for the moment. Because then I am getting something, a smallish number times 10 to the 9th hertz. And if I pull this out, I'm going to get something that's 19 divided by 1.175 squared times 3.35, which is a reasonably small number. It's not going to be large. It's not going to be less than 1. It's not going to be greater than 20. So I know I'll get something relatively small and because I've got a 10 to the minus 9th on the bottom, I will get something in terms of 10 to the minus 9th on the top, which would be, give me nano, and my term is farads. So when I stick this into the, the calculator, run this through, I get my 19 watts divided by 1.75 squared times 3.35 gigahertz gives me about 4.11 nanofarads. 